Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Can we do meditation on these four holy companions and how should we do it? You get the levels of the heart <laughs> book, read the book, get the meditation book and read the book and connect your heart, connect your heart with the shaykh and understand the levels of the heart, Lataif al qalb and how the holy companions are on these four chambers. And then this is an added understanding of the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad so that to carry that sunnah, to love them, to love Prophet and loving Allah most high. So yeah, this is all the tafakkur and, and the muraqabah. But like anything else, first master your connection before you just want to start going left and right in different directions. So best to master the connection, discipline the self, make the connection with the shaykhs and then ask for these different knowledges. Read from the lataif of the heart, uh, the lataif al qalb, the book, read a section and then meditate on that section and the importance of these lataifs and its realities inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah On the subject of the Qur'an reading us, mm-hmm. is the Qur'an alive and does it have a will? Or is the light of Sayyidina Uthman al Ghani decoding it for us? You know, Quran is not created, Allah's not created words, it's Allah's words. So it's, it's not something created, that's its miracle. It's not a creation, it's Allah's divinely words, that it's not something created. Outside of the ocean of creation, flowing through the created heart of Sayyidina Muhammad. So those don't make sense. That's, that's what we have to understand from Qur'an. So in that power of Qur'an is flowing, it's an infinite fountain of realities that flow. So then when we say, who is walking Qur'an? Sayyidina Muhammad is walking Qur'an, so who's reading you? When you pick up the Qur'an, Prophet said, what? I leave for you my sunnah, my way, Muhammadan way, I leave for you the Qur'an. Another narration is that I leave my sunnah and I leave my family, that my family is my sunnah, love them. And that my sunnah is the Qur'an. And then awliya come and teach, actually the Qur'an is reading you, means that Prophet is looking at you. And if that Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Caliber of correctness is within you, it begins to open. It's encrypted. So this is a immense reality because manzil al-Qur'an is the location of Holy Qur'an is in the qalb, in the qalb of Sayyidina Muhammad from Insan al-Kamil. The nur Muhammadi is eternally flowing and the Qur'an is coming from that ocean of reality. So then how then to unlock its reality? is then by that love and ishq. So that light of Qur'an that comes, looks into our eyes and says, no you're fuqan, you're not going to get the secret of it. When they have sincerity and ishq and good character, what happens? That light looks into their heart and now begins to flow of these knowledges, flow from realities. We said before, each huruf it's all angels, every letter is filled with angels and each letter opens infinitely in its capacity. Alif, Lam, Mim, as soon as you say Alif, Lam, Mim 
The alif has an immense ocean of realities, Izzatullah to the lamb and to the lisan al-haqq and the meme is the definition of where this alif is flowing its power. That's why the Qur'an is opening with this flow of power that from the izzat of Allah to the ancient tongue in which Allah created to reveal this creation is known as meme Muhammadun Rasulullah so it means this will infinitely open. The alif again becomes alif, lam, fa and now opened again. So it infinitely opens with power inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi you mentioned the siwak is a grounding stick. Hmm. How can we keep the siwak clean from all the negative energy it gathers? Forgive my ignorance. Yeah you don't have to worry about that. You have to keep worrying about how to keep yourself clean from your negative energy. Well don't focus on the siwak being clean, rinse it with water and it would, it knows what to do with the thing, it takes the energy out. We have to worry about taking the energy out of ourselves, not if the siwak is in danger. We're in danger, inshaAllah. Uh, as Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam. Please forgive my ignorance. How can we free ourselves from inside Satan while we're in a continuous fight with him? Can the opening to knowledge be in stages? Thank you. Inside, inside fight with shaitan? Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that's tariqah. <coughs> so that's why we said the meditation, the zikr, all these practices. That's why when, when they sit with external scholars then they, they, their answers will confuse external scholars. They focus on external wudu as if that's the solution to everything. No problem, do your external wudu. But what did you do for internal wudu? What do you do for in, inside wudu? Zikrullahi tatmayna qulu. So then you have to do dhikr, you have to do salawat, you have to do tafakkur and contemplation. You have to connect your heart so energy comes, that energy comes and begins to chase the shaitan inside. And Allah said, we created everybody with the shaitan, a kareen and is attached to that person. The inner shaitan is calling the outer shaitans, he's got his own mobile phone, hey this guy's ripe, come on. He's not doing anything to protect and the inner shaitan will actually call all the outer shaitans to come. Open the door for them and they're coming in the millions, right? Is it, if you had an inside demon, what would he do? Every time you go to sleep he opens the door and tells all the other <laughs> demons, come on in. <laughs> this guy's a free, it's like a bazaar, everybody come in, right? But if you do salawats, you do zikr, you do your meditation and tafakkur, you're chaining that shaitan up because there's so much energy, so much light in the person that he's hiding from being burned by these lights that are coming. And Prophet described that fasting and zikr and all these processes, what? Is going after the shaitan inside somebody. So means the people of tafakkur and the peoples of tariqah, that's why they have such an emphasis inside. Is that clean your heart inside, the shaitan inside is causing you lots of problems. Oh outside you wash and wash and wash and wash and wash and wash but inside that devil is inside of you, you're smoking right before you want to pray, what was the purpose of all that washing? You just wasted your time and cleaned your donkey. You wash your inside, they don't want to do that. Sit down, do your zikr, do your tafakkur, do your salawats, do everything that you can to fight the demon inside. If you begin to fight that demon inside, you will become beautific with lot less water because the shaitan's dead inside, he's being burned continuously with zikr. They don't ever stop. Prophet described, don't leave me for a blink of an eye. So as they're always doing their awrads and their zikrs, the shaitan is lessening and all the realities are flowing. When the shaitan inside is burning, less of the outside shaitans are trying to attach themselves to these things. And that's why their uloom, their knowledges are completely different, their practices are completely different than people, right? The holy companions made wudu with a cup of water this big. Now if you use the entire shower it's not going to clean you because the inside guy is more powerful. 
Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Is it proper to buy and keep and wear the Zulfiqar for benefits if we can in weddings or Jumma, etc.? Just to put it on your head and go out? <laughs> <laughs> we have a Zulfiqar always. Why would it be improper? But do we have to put to weddings? I don't know if you have to wear it out. <laughs> but you carry it as a, as a love and as a symbol of the Ulul Albab, the, the caretakers of the door in which their responsibility is to take off the heads of people. Not physically for those who are listening and all of a sudden the NSA radios went off. <laughs> it's spiritual, right? So you have to stand at that door to teach that the, this way of Lam Alif and the reality of Zulfiqar is to take the heads of people off. They have to come with their heart and not their head to reach to these realities. As salaamu alaykum, beloved Sayyidi. Wa alaykum as salaam Would you please expand the differences or the difference between the light reality of the Prophets and the Ahlul Bayt? Please forgive my ignorance. Well, that's a whole <laughs> subject that uh, we didn't. <laughs> you know what? We, we don't make these things up. So, this is not No John's curriculum that's being done. <laughs> where you just sort of on demand ask something and we say, okay, this is what we're going to teach. This is a system in which this knowledges are coming based on this tajallis of this month and what's necessary to know. So this is the month of, of Hajj and Hijrah means that for 12 months we've been journeying towards this point. So then this like oasis of Sayyidina Uthman that is shahadat is in this month, from that oasis these knowledges mm. are coming that these companions are always with us and they're in a specific order for the tajalli and the lights to be dressed upon us. Carry them with your love, carry the responsibility of what they're giving to us because Prophets were crying for something. Sayyidina Sulaiman, how long he cried to Allah that they're attacking. They had done such harsh magic they killed his wife with magic. And he was begging Allah I'm poor, you're qani, you are rich and I can't defend myself against these people, send me a support Ya Rabbi. So we see it as like a five minute question but this mm -hmm. was a lifelong struggle of suffering under their oppression. And then Allah granted the uh, magnificent sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad right? Prophets were begging, crying for support. Now you can go to a store, you pick up your <laughs> ring and you're born into this reality and this gift of Prophet it's our, it's, a, it's our inheritance that we're under Sayyidina Muhammad It became so simple for us. So all you have to do is you get it and, and pray, Ya Rabbi activate it. That I'm asking from the revival of Sunnah the Nabi activate my ring, activate these things. Asa, you go anywhere you pick up your asa because you're under the nation of Muhammad Rasulullah this is your inheritance. While other Prophets had to cry for asa, we are getting it as our inheritance. This is Allah's ni'mat. When He says, I, I wouldn't have sent but that He is my mercy. Imagine what that really meant when other Prophets were begging for Allah's help and Allah gave to us <coughs> Ummatul Muhammad Wa ma arsalnaka, I would not have sent but that it's an immense mercy for all of creation. And then Allah destined for me and you to be from that nation, what? So you can go get the jubba, you can get your asa, you can get your ring, you can get your siwak, everything. You get all these knowledges while other people are saying, aliens are attacking me all night long, I don't know what to do. You've been granted knowledges, you're not in the dark ages, Islam was never in the dark ages. You're granted all of these illuminations and realities that Prophet taught his nation. No, no, these are jinn, these are playing with people. So it's immense what God has given to us, what Allah has given to us to be under the nation of Muhammadun Rasulullah and then gave us Khulafai Rashideen. Every time we say in Jummah Khulafai Rashideen that they have irshad and Allah Rashid gave to us guidance that is perpetual and eternal. 
you are never a thing forgotten. That you carry that siwak, Sayyidina Umar Farooq is with you. You carry your asa, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq is with you. You have a ring, Imam Ali as salam is with you. You carry in your heart the love of Sayyidina Muhammad is with you. What, mm -hmm. what more can a nation want than has been given all these gifts? Subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.